Look what we got here. Wait till they see the interior. What's up everybody? Welcome to Twin Turbo. My name is Nick. Today we have a 2023 Kia Stinger GT2. This is the touring edition. And wait till you see the interior of this thing. It is freaking gorgeous. Real quick, I just wanna say 10,000 subscribers are coming up and to show my appreciation to you guys, Terry and I are going half on a JB4 giveaway. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on that. I'm gonna upload like an official giveaway announcement video. And yeah, at 10K, you'll leave a comment and I'll just pick a random winner that way. We are going to be going over this car. Uh, subscriber Tony came down. He's gonna go over some of the mods he did to this thing. Very tastefully done, very well done, sir. He kept it super clean. What I'm gonna start doing is having you guys get involved, coming on the channel, give you an opportunity to show off your build, Hopefully it's twin turbo. I'll settle for single turbos too. Just shoot me an email at twin turbo at gmail and we'll set something up. The weather's starting to get nice. Today's 32 degrees and snowing, but whatever it takes. Guys, this thing is gorgeous. The interior, ugh, stick around for the interior. You're gonna love it. Tony, thank you so much for coming on, man. What'd you bring down today? 23 Kia Stinger Touring Edition. Touring Edition. What I wanna do is just kind of go around the car and have you explain to them, you know, A, what you've all done to it, but let's go around and show them the key differences between just a base GT2 and the Touring. All right, it's all yours, man. So here in the front, we have the black chrome, which on the other ones is silver, or just regular chrome, I should say. Front here, we have the Korean spec OEM E-Badge. Comes like that with this model? No, it does not come that way. I actually ordered those and added on to it. Yep, it's an actual Kia part, guys, just so you know. K8 Stinger store. I know you said you didn't notice this when you pulled up, but that looks like that's gloss black, and mine was, I think, chrome, if I remember. Same thing on the wheels, actual Kia, Kia logo. And these wheels look different. What are these off of? These are actually the Scorpion wheels, blacked out. So the Touring Edition comes with this from the factory? Yes, the Very wheels are factory. Cool. Very cool. Blacked out brake vent. Yep, as you guys know, mine were the black chrome, but these come gloss black. Same with the mirror cap. Nice. I actually really like that, it's super clean. And these actually flash when you turn on the turning signal. We're gonna show you that here in a minute because he did a mod on the front. This here is a mod that we did. Use a red reflector there, kind of ugly, so <laughs> we cut that out and put Stinger logo there. On the back, this piece here is painted black. And okay. the rear diffuser. I like that. And this diffuser is beautiful, by the way. So we got the big five inch tips, that's stock. We have an active exhaust. The inside tips are every mode except for sport, and then the outside tips open up when you give it, they have uh, valves in there and they open up when you give it gas. Very nice, I love how they black that out. That looks really, really clean. So really, it kind of looks like this is like a Scorpion edition just without the spoiler. That's about the only thing missing on the outside. And you said you might add that? I'm really tempted to add that. Okay, <laughs> now there is on this vehicle, you did install something. I think it's really, really neat. And I want to show them the Korean spec stingers come this way, right? Right, the final piece for the outside exterior of Korean spec. And a lot of people hate these taillights. But I think the reason why they hate them is because they don't have the Korean version. These came straight out of Korea. They are factory OEM and they're sequential LEDs. Wow. And that really puts icing on them taillights. That looks awesome. So the stock one, this is a solid light. It does not do that. You can't buy them in the United States, you have to source them out of Korea. And how much were these? Uh, I got the whole kit, I actually got them for my 18, and they were uh, $1,100. 1100 Wow. The bar, each tail light's 350 and the bar is like another. You gotta pay them import Three, fees, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys comment down below if you have this emblem on your Stinger. But uh, to me, I've never, I've never seen that one, I feel like. I don't know, might be Korean spec. That I don't know, I just bought to get the X. I'm not, not too, <laughs> not a fan of it. <laughs> so guys, sorry for the low lighting. It's just one of those days. It's very, very gloomy out. It's 32 degrees, it's been snowing. It's really windy, so we decided to come inside the parking garage so you guys aren't getting a bunch of wind noise. Let's show them, man. I know a lot of people, especially on my channel, you know, they're about that performance. I made a video and I said I, if I were to redo any of my mods, I would do it differently. And he actually did it this way. So let's let's show him what you did. First mod I did and I brought it home. It only had it an hour. Mishimoto oil catch can. Very important mod for anybody with a stinger. Yeah, direct or injection. A turbo for that matter. Yeah. Catches your blowback oil. Then here we have BMS vanity covers, 
We also had the JB4, nice clean install. Where did you get that JB4? Wires. From Net. <laughs> okay, what else you got going on here, Tony? So then we have the AFE Power Takeda. Yes. That's how you pronounce that. Yep. Cold air intakes. These are a true cold air intake. They are, and it looks they're like you sealed. have them connected down here to these snorkels. And they're play off. Yeah, ram air, true cold air. It's separating everything from the, the heat with these boxes. They're enclosed. I like how they have this little window. I mean, they're just a good looking intake. I did this because I wanted a true cold air set up. Heck of a difference. It just looks really clean. It actually threw me into overboost. So because of that's why I went with the JV4, but most singers, when you do an exhaust and the intakes, they overboost on you. Yep. This setup here did it just with the intakes. Yep, and I'm actually glad that you mentioned that because in one of my earlier videos, one of the, the very first mod I did was the engine intakes. And then when I did the MBRP, I was overboosting all the time. And the only thing that fixed it is the JV4. The JB4. And for those of you who have been watching my Kia Stinger videos, which by the way, I have a ton of them. If you guys are new to the community, it's an awesome community. But when I first started my channel, what he just said is true. JB4 by far is probably my favorite mod. It really, really wakes this car up. An affiliate link for them down below. Use code twin turbo, it really helps out the channel. Sometimes you can get a discount. It kind of just depends on his website. Definitely will wake your car up. Oh yeah, MAP3, <laughs> E30, that was my daily, I love it. Okay, let's hop back. Got the CK71 DRLs on the front. Love these Those things. Those are really nice. And when you hit the turn signal, you have the flashback, so these actually turn to amber. When he turns these on, you'll see not only see them, but honestly, more than just looks, safety. I mean, these DRLs are bright. People just see you coming better in the day. They draw more attention, especially when you turn. I look at them as being functional. Very nice, Tony. If you look here, these are actual lights. On my 18, these were just reflectors. And I originally was gonna put a piece of carbon fiber wrap right here and eliminate that. Then I realized it was actual light. So that is definitely different on the Touring Edition. Uh, just to show everybody, these are actual OEM parts for the sequential tail light. Yep. Says it right these there. come standard on a, Korea. on a Korean edition. Yeah. First, you got to have a little thumps. <laughs> yeah, and so Sony, he actually purchased my Crescendo Audio Amp. Uh, he's going to be powering it with a CT Sound sub, high quality subs. I mean, that thing right there with the box probably weighs 60, 70 pounds. Look at that foam roll. He's got a, a tuned ported box, and being in a hatch, it's going to sound freaking phenomenal. Uh, and a while back, I had asked you for your logo. Remember that? What's that? A while back, I asked you for your logo. Oh, yeah, when yeah. When we were talking about doing this review. I actually have a gift for you. I took your logo and I, I modified it so you could actually. Oh, dude, what? Then I put it on a t-shirt and we do. That is sick. That is so. Yeah, a little bit better. Man, thank you. Look how clean the, the lines are on the edges. That is phenomenal. Oh, and that's super soft. Dude, you made that? Yep. What, what is your business? I mean, obviously- We uh, started up our own business up called Wicked Transfers LLC. So that was just a little graphic uh, Photoshop re repair job on your logo. And then it's a DTF print. Thank you so much. And my favorite color, black. So see, that's what I'm talking about right there. Stinger community, looking out for each other. He uh, he has, I'm gonna, throw his, I'm gonna throw your information up on the screen and put a link down below, guys. So if you need merch printed or anything with logos, Looks like this is your guy, man. Awesome. Thank appreciate you. That. Oh yeah, appreciate you. So now it's time to show you guys my favorite, favorite part of this car, which is the interior. So let's hop inside and check it out. I went on Instagram Live. Some of you guys got a spoiler alert. The interior. In love. Alcantara, man. And that's one of my favorite materials inside cars. You'll usually see that in Audis, BMWs, AMGs, just high-end cars, even like the Lexus LS500. And speaking of Lexus LS500, that's what this pattern right here reminds me of. Look at that stitching, how it just flows. And not only that, it's in the seat, all over the seat, red seat belts. And again, guys, this is a touring edition GT2. It comes this way, flows right onto the dash, goes all the way up there. They got more stitching up here on the dash. Of course, it's in the, in the steering wheel. I just can't get over this freaking Alcantara. I, I, there's something about it. I love it. It's Especially up here, it just really, really sets. I mean, this thing just feels super high end. So much nicer than not being full leather on the seat, hot and cold. Yeah, it's and a you world of difference. You could just really tell the Germans were heavily involved in the design cues in this car. I mean, that screams like AMG Audi ish. You know what I mean? With the vents and just the whole, the whole design. I mean, for the value, what you get for your money with these cars is just unbeatable. You're showing that mod right there in the pool. When you open the door. Oh, what do you guys think of this? You got a little stinger light action hitting the ground. So that's actually from the KH Stinger store. It's clean. A little mod that we did. 
Daniel, shout out to Daniel at the K8 Stinger store. Connected. So we got the blend mount, wireless or mirror tap, and holder for the R7. Unit R7. Ooh, we got the big boy. Super long range. Nice. So we have uh, wireless Android Auto. So what is that like connected down here? I'm using the Motorola adapter to do this. Oh, okay. It's like an $80 upgrade and then you're free to use your phone to like pay at the drive through or something. Yeah. You don't have to unplug it every time. Look at that mirror. That mirror looks different. That's way different than my mirror. They did change the mirror. They changed the mirror in the 23? That is beautiful. It's like crystal. A lot of people with the 23s, they hate that they got rid of the sunglass holder. <laughs> so up here, I got a little mod for holding sunglasses. That's how I fixed it. Solutionsman.com. Great. Flat bottom steering wheel. You guys have seen a lot of the Stinger videos, especially mine or reviews online, but we got some carbon fiber shift paddles. Very tasty. And I went with red to match all the red stitching in the car. Yeah, there you go, Parker. I think you wanted to see what those look like. Little details. Engineering excellence sticker. You made that? Yep. Yeah. Put it on your website, man. Wow, man, this is gorgeous. I really like how clean it is, man. You kept it super clean. Maybe we could charge the mic and go for a quick drive. I don't know if the active exhaust or anything makes a difference. Like, got a Subaru over here. Oh, I love this, man. I love the digs, man. All right, guys, so Tony's uh, mic is about to die, so I think this might be a good time uh, to sign off. I wanna thank you for bringing your, your stinger down and being a subscriber for the channel. Like I said, man, if you know anyone that wants to show off their build, if they have a build, I have an Audi TT RS that's like a 10 second Audi coming on. And nice. then, yeah, an older gen M4 coupe. He's got a bunch of stuff done too. I got some really cool cars coming and the weather's gonna be warming up, so use this opportunity to subscribe. If you haven't, please consider doing so. We're gonna have some fun this year. With some fast cars so i do want to add one thing you guys got a 22 23 get the map up or nav update it'll give you full screen android auto so definitely worth it it's an update it's an update usb just go to the website and download it there's no uh, sd card in this one use a thumb drive and plug it in the usb port and it automatically reads it nice man good looking out okay as far as recording i video. actually turned all the imported sounds off and good kind of screws with the stereo so yeah inside this garage you can hear it pretty good but it says the head. I actually heard you when you were following me in here. I could hear you. Yeah, I heard your exhaust a little. I was like, he's got the valve open. <laughs> That's the only way to drive this thing. Sport mode. Did they redo the key fob at all in the no. 23? Well, it's got the key start on the back. That's factory. Oh, okay. Right there. Now the uh, key start, like I, I know I have like that affiliate link and I help a lot of people with the remote start. It's a DIY plug and play. Is this different than that one where when you get in, if you touch the brake pedal, does it die? No, this one here turns your heat on your, or, or your air conditioner. Is it an additional thing you have to pay for or does it? Yeah, there's an app that give you for a year. For a year? Free, but you can program it. Okay. But then the key fob, you can start it remotely with your phone app or you can use the fob. It starts it up, you get right in the car and drive away. You don't have to hit the brake or nothing, put it right in gear and go. Nice, man. Very nice. I still think this is probably the best value car money can buy to this day. There's nothing that I've seen ever come out for this price point that you can buy brand new. I mean, it's reliable. It's a GT. You got a hatch. You can fit a family in here super easy. The all-wheel drive system is amazing. The modding potential, the performance, the way it responds to mods. What, what else is out there that you could, you know what I mean? Like if it was an Audi, it would be seven. 80k by the time you get in the, those like, aren't reliable <laughs> put the <laughs> e-branding on here they don't know what it is and they're like just blow it away when you tell them it's a kia yeah if you can just look past the kia thing man and you know like some people the brand prestige is just it means so much to them but if you can i mean that that, that seems superficial but if you can just look past that and look what you're getting for your money, I mean, dude, this is uh, this is gonna do it for this one. And uh, like I said, guys, stay tuned for some more videos. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Show them that again, man. So the benefits of direct to film is they're stretchable. You guys see that? Yeah. I don't know if you can hear that, but I'm really pulling on it. Now, if you look, it didn't even crack. Nope. No, it looks high quality. It's so crystal clear. If you do that with a, a direct to garment print. There's a crack on you, and as soon as you wash it, it'll start chipping off. These nice. last up to 50 washes. Nice.